back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make envelopes as well as I'm going to be showing you um, how I design my mail art. So I am creating these envelopes for my stationery bundles that I'll be eventually selling online. I'm not 100% sure when I'll be selling them or where I'll be selling them at this stage. And I do want help from you guys to let me know where you want me to sell them. Um, but I think I really want to open up a Patreon and that could be an option. If not, they'll most likely just go on my Etsy. My Etsy's called... I'm pretty sure Snail Mail by Brittany. I'll double check that, but the link will be in the description box below. There's nothing on my Etsy at the moment, but I will eventually upload them there or on a Patreon if I open a Patreon, <laughs> which I haven't actually discussed with you guys or told you guys at all, but I've been thinking about this for a really long time and I thought it'd be such a fun place for me to create a community hub around creativity and around snail mailing and about around stationery and i thought it'd be such a lovely space where all my resources can go and if you guys are a little bit worried like if you can't join because of funds i will have a lower tier that will be two dollars a month so that will be 24 dollars for the entire year if you want to join so it's it's very affordable um but I will make sure I have that lower tier for people who, who may not be able to afford the higher tiers. And the higher tiers will have the stationary bundles on there if that's something that I want to start. But I really want to know if you guys would participate in a Patreon. So do let me know in the comments below. Even just say yes to Patreon or yes to Etsy if you'd rather me just put the stationary bundles on Etsy. So the things that I would have on my Patreon would be things like... A traveling notebook so I thought anyone who joins the patreon could participate in the traveling notebook and we could make it either larger and larger each month or we could put a new one out or we could make it specific to each country so if someone joins from America we could add you to the America traveling notebook if someone joins from a European country we could do that or an Asian country, we could have it going around Southeast Asia. Or if we get a lot of people from Australia, we could have a traveling notebook traveling around Australia. But that's something that we can decide if if we if I start up a Patreon for you guys. So I always wanted YouTube to be my job one day. And I know I've said this a few times on my channel, but this would really give me a platform that could allow me to start turning this hobby into a business and I spend hours creating videos for you guys as well as hours creating the stationary bundles and hours doing these community projects. I have to do a lot of um, emailing back and forth with you guys for this community projects and also if I'm creating the stationary bundles I'm spend hours usually on my kitchen or lounge room floor, not kitchen floor sorry, mainly my lounge room floor. Um, just putting these bundles together that I think you guys would really enjoy. And as you can see from this video, these are the types of envelopes that are going to be in the bundles, as well as some of my few favourite envelopes. And I'll also have my handmade postcard. I don't know if you guys have seen that for a while, but I had I have a postcard I made a while back, and it's got my image, my, my like image brand, the little girl drinking tea with the little overalls on. It's in my YouTube banner. And I have her on the front of a postcard and I, I thought it was really cute. I'm not a designer at all. <laughs> but um, I created that for this YouTube channel and I put her on a little postcard and I thought it'd be cute if anyone wanted to collect that. So that's a little bit of information about where I'm at in regards to moving this channel forward. Um, it would be an amazing thing to have a Patreon because it would be a community hub where we could all discuss everything creative or anything snail mail related or anything stationary related. So please let me know if you would like me to open up a Patreon or if you'd rather me just open up an Etsy where I could just sell some bundles every once in a while. Um, but yeah, I thought it would be such a fun um, idea and somewhere that um, we could all come together and collaborate a lot more because there is like a little um, sort of stream, not stream, what do you call it when there's 
posts and videos and where everyone can participate participate in writing comments um, so it's sort of like I would just say community hub so um, it's a place where everyone can come together and participate in one place rather than on email and via YouTube comments and via Instagram stories and things like that so that's the main thing I wanted to talk to you guys about today so do Please let me know in the comments below if you'd rather me open up a Patreon or just put these bundles on Etsy. The tools that I'm using for this video is a envelope cutter um, and a, a straight line cutter. So the envelope is not so much a cutter, it's more of a tool. So the envelope tool, you create lines on the paper and then you fold it up. And it actually took me a little while to create, like to work out how to create these envelopes because you have to make sure the measurements are right. But I will put the link to the tool in the description box below if you guys want to know where I got it from. It is from um, Spotlight. So I will put that link in the description box below if I can find it on the website. And the cutter is also from Spotlight. I think that was everything I wanted to have a chat with you guys about today. I hope you enjoy watching me create mail art as well as putting together these envelopes and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!